What's up guys? So this morning we're gonna do something that they do in Greece that you never really see a video on and that is animate the statues. So we will talk about that today. So that's one thing, like I said, you never see outside of Greece really is something called animating the statues. So in Buddhism and Hinduism, they have something similar, which they call, you may have heard and called opening the eyes. So basically it is activating your statue. So you are asking the God or goddess to inhabit the statue. So when you pray and do rituals that they come into the statue and are present during your prayers and ritual, again is animating the statue and it's very simple what you do is that you have grain mixed grain or barley i use barley because traditionally you'll always see people use barley and you pass it around the statue you want to animate or invite the god or goddess into and as you recite the orphic hymn and then you finish it by sprinkling the grain on the statue and while you're circling the statue clockwise you're imagining and seeing the god or goddess inhabiting and inviting them into the statue so that they are there so when you do rituals and prayers in the future they will inhabit the statue and hear your prayers So as you circle with the grain, you just envision the goddess coming into the statue. And I figured the best goddess to start with is the one that gets the first to last offerings, goddess Estia, the goddess of the home. So we're gonna read the Orphic hymn to Estia and do the ritual. So Estia, queen and daughter of almighty Kronos, you hold this center of the home its eternal and greatest liar. And may you consecrate these initiates in these holy rituals and make them thrive forever, blessed, cheerful, and holy. Home of the blessed gods, the strong foundation of mortals, eternal, many shaped, loved, and green as grass. Smiling blessed one, take these offering offerings willingly and bring forth wealth, bliss, and health with your sitting hands. So with your barley and grain, the last step you're gonna do is sprinkle it over the statue and welcome the goddess into your statue. Hail and blessings to you, great Estia, great goddess of the home and the hearth. We thank you that you're with us in the home and center of the home and family. We thank you for your blessings every time you visit us, great goddess, and we animate your statue in honor of you and open its eyes so that you are invited every time that we pray. Hail and blessings to you, great goddess. And you're going to take it and imagine the goddess in the statue statue and bless it with the grain. And so may it be.